Hey guys, Austin here with Full Life Proof Grooming, and today I want to talk about the differences, similarities, and which product you should choose between beard oil and beard balm. Now these products are two of the most popular grooming products out there on the market for men with beards. And chances are if you've got a beard already, then you've probably heard of beard oil before. It is by far the most popular beard grooming product out there. But you may not have heard of beard balm or its brother, beard butter and why you might actually want to switch from beard oil to beard balm or vice versa. So real quick, let's talk about why you should use beard grooming products in the first place. After all, a lot of men think that they can just kind of set and forget their beard growth. They can let their beard grow, they can trim it occasionally, and that's all they have to do. But this is actually doing a lot of damage to your beard and the skin underneath your beard. You have to think of your beard kind of the way you think about the hair on your head. It needs regular cleaning, trimming, maintenance, and that kind of thing, as well as hydration with things like conditioner in order to stay healthy over time. And in order to keep things like dandruff, dryness, cracking, split ends, and all that bad stuff away. Beard oil and beard balm tend to be hydrating products. Beard balm a little bit more on the styling side, but we're gonna talk about that when we dive into it a little bit more, and beard oil on the hydrating side. Beard oil, like I said, is by far the most popular beard grooming product. And for a good reason, it's super simple to use, everyone seems to have one, so it's very plentiful, and you can probably find it at your local convenience store. Beard oil is strictly meant so that you can hydrate your beard, give it some softness, some silkiness, as well as some shine. And so over time, your beard doesn't get too dry, too stiff, and too rough feeling. The other benefit of beard oil is that it hydrates the skin underneath your beard as well, which can tend to get dry and crack and cause beard flakes and that kind of thing. When you're looking for beard oil, you're going to want to find something that is all natural, something that uses natural oils like jojoba oil, argan oil, things like that. Because those oils are more sustainable, they're more natural to you, and you know you're not getting any kind of funny stuff, any kind of harsh ingredients. These natural kinds of oils tend to be super light, non-greasy, and they apply to your beard very, very well. They don't give you that kind of heavy or sticky feel feeling like some lesser quality beard oils out there can. And beard oil tends to be reserved for people with either super long beards or people with super short, almost stubble-like beards. Now beard balm, on the other hand, is actually a mix of oils, butters, and waxes. The oils, just like in beard oil, actually help hydrate your beard over time. The butters and waxes, however, stick on the outside of your beard to help connect it to the other beard hairs around it and give you some styling edge and hold so you can shape your beard the way you want. In that way, Beard Balm is more like a do-it-all product. It's both a hydrating and styling product, but it's not as hydrating as beard oil or as styling as beard and mustache wax is. I tend to really like using Beard Balm because it helps me keep my hair laying flat, but it also gives me the hydration without having to apply an accessory product like beard oil. Now, the reason I say beard oil is for shorter or for very long beards is simply because very long beards tend to get so frizzy and out of shape that you'll need something stronger than beard balm to keep it in shape. You'll probably need something like beard wax. That way you can use the beard oil in that super long beard to keep it hydrated, but the beard wax on top of it after the oil is had time to absorb to keep that beard in check. And chances are if you have a super short beard then it's not getting all that crazy anyways. I'd say probably from the length of like my beard down to maybe a few inches, you can definitely use some beard balm because it's going to be strong enough to give you the hold that you need as well as providing you the hydration you would get from something like beard oil. So depending on your needs and how long your beard is and whether you want to use beard oil and beard wax or just beard balm itself, then you can choose between these two products. Either way, that was a short little Volt video for you guys talking about the differences between beard oil and beard balm. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Make sure to follow us on Volt's Instagram page as well as our Facebook page if you want more detailed updates about what Volt is up to, as well as anytime we have a giveaway with another brand out there where you can win some really cool stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon because we have tons of videos coming out, as well as Volt shorts, which come out pretty much every week, videos which come out pretty much every week. We've got tons of stuff coming, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. Leave us a comment and tell us which product you like the most, whether you've tried these different products, which product just seems to work for you, and how long your beard is. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.